Hey guys, so I just wanted to tell you guys this situation that happened with me happened about a year or a year ago, something like that. Um, and I just wanted to tell you. So I was cursed. Um, I guess we could call it a story time video. Um, <clears throat> so this lady used to buy bulk readings from me. Um, so she used to buy them in sets of 10 and um, I would give her a discount. Her and her sister would buy five, five each and they'd buy them in bulk and, um, you know, I'd help them to grow and, you know, help them through things or, you know, so on, what readings are for. And um, then she'd come back a few times buying them in bulk and I said, uh, you know, I'm not going to do it anymore. I don't want to read for you anymore. Um, all the best. Um, so she was like, well, you are going to read for me. And I was like, well, I am. <laughs> um, so she, we had this conversation backwards and forth because I was doing so many readings for her. The minute the 10 would run out, she'd buy another 10. And I was getting like messages and like she was really infiltrating my energy. And then I just got this feeling. My intuition told me don't do any more for her. So she was like, my money is the same as everybody else's money. I said, I know. And, um, you know, I feel like you're able to now go on yourself and, you know, use your own intuition. You don't always have to use somebody else's. Trust your own intuition. Um, so needless to say, she didn't like it. And she said, that's it. I'm cursing you. She was a Romanian witch. Um, look them up on YouTube, actually. Great uh, documentary on Romanian witches on YouTube. And she said, that's it. I'm going to curse you. I said, thanks, sister. Good luck on your journey. So what would you do if somebody said, I'm cursing you? Um, I guess the first sort of instincts is to say, okay, I return it to sender and things like that. But I just said, anybody with any ill will sending something against me, send it to the light. Um, and the, there's a reason I did this and I do this um, is because just imagine this negativity bouncing around all the time, bouncing around the earth. <clears throat> we eventually it'll come back to me again. Right. And I don't want negativity um, and I don't want you guys having negativity. So I didn't want it to continue bouncing around. I want to send it to the light. I haven't got no bad or ill will towards her. I just never read for her again. Um, so as you can see, I'm not cursed. And the reason I'm telling you guys this story is because, you know, if you feel like somebody has hurt you and you want to hurt them back and things like that, it's best to just send it to the light because it's just like, oh, that girl or that guy slapped me. I'm going to go slap the next person. And then that continues on, that continues on and continues on. And you'll meet somebody again who will then want to slap you, I guess, if that's the thing I decided to use. Um, and we don't really want it out there, do we? We don't want this negative energy bouncing around. We don't want it coming back to us, let alone harming other people. We might feel it in the first moment or the instinct when we're hurting and things like that, but we really want to send it away so we start building up the positive energy in the earth now so yeah i sent it to the lie and never read for her again and at that point i had like twenty thousand subscribers um and now i'm at over ninety thousand subscribers so thank you and i think that shows that um you know i'm not cursed didn't sort of stop me getting subscribers and things like that that she'd hoped for um and try to send my way i just wished her the best of luck and 
went on with my journey and her journey, you know, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. You know, if we believed in it so hard, then it would manifest into our life. And if we're trying to send that negativity out, we're obviously drawing in negativity towards us and trying to send it to another person. If you don't successfully send it to another person, it's going to set, stay with you as well. Right. Energy is just energy. You can direct any way you want to. So let's try and not do that, guys. OK, so, yeah. There's that, right? That, that was the story I'd like to tell. I wanted to tell you guys. Um, so it's just a general chit chat video. And I'd posted something, I think, about Bob Marley one time and something about Chris Brown one time. And um, somebody said, you know, they're a woman beater. And this is what all the bad things they did in their life. And I thought about people being judged on the worst moment in their life and others then trying to remind everybody else of it, the worst moment in their life. I mean, let he without sin cast the first stone. I know I'm not faultless, so it's not up to me to judge them to be, um, you know, what they are and what they've not. We all have to experience these tower moments and go through what's not working for us to find out what does work for us, right? We have to go through these uncomfortable things and we have to talk about these uncomfortable things in order to get to a place um, of growth. And that's what we want here. We want growth. We don't want to be um, just staying within this negative energy. We, we want to outgrow it. We feel it now. We feel it with this mass awakening, what's happening in the world. We really want to outgrow it. And I guess Acorn's a good example as well of kind of, um, you know, somebody who was judged on something, um, made a mistake um, and you know, then went on to have a creative career, shall we say. Um, I mean, look at what Akon's doing, how he's giving back, right? I'm not saying these people are innocent. I'm saying I'm not, <laughs> I'm not faultless that I can judge somebody on the worst moment in their life or experience in their life i don't want to judge you guys you know um a lot of us have maybe dated in a third party in relation to this channel or maybe like somebody who was already in a marriage and felt like oh it's wrong but i feel this connection so we've all experienced different things basically um to get us toward the point of an awakening and I actually like Chris Brown's music. I actually like all their music. I like all music, really, I do. Um, <laughs> I, I go from 90s R&B in my playlist to some Motown to um, some 60s to 70s to something current. Um, you know, it just, if it, if it resonates with my soul, I usually like that music. Um, a, a lot of people, and I mean, look what, they can be judged on something that happened once, but continuously be doing good. This little fly is doing my head in, <laughs> um, you know, and it's kind of like, do you want to be judged on the worst moment in your life? Or, you know, when somebody you've done good for them, you've done good for them, you've done good for them. And then you do one thing wrong and they quit on you. And you're like, you forgot all the 99 good things I did in place of just one little thing. So I feel like that is perspective and growing um, to not be judging another person or sending another person here. I know we're doing a lot of this these days, like wanting to send um, for people and try and drag them down. And um, I don't agree with it. I want to put positivity out there. 
And I usually kind of do it with humor. Some people don't get it, but a lot of you do. And those ones who get my humor, I love you guys the most. Um, it's absolutely great. It's such a great feeling when somebody gets or understands you, right? And sees your humor and things like that and see um, that you're trying to put good out there and it's not I'm not just always trying to be negative so most of the times what you'll see in the community section is my humor right and some people are like oh my god no what are you actually saying or doing it I'm seriously I'm just trying to make somebody smile make somebody laugh um, brighten somebody's day send somebody a positive message so they can feel up just think about lockdown where we've all been locked in the house um a lot of things have been happening um in the sense that we've all felt like some sort of being trapped in or maybe some people's depression or mental illness was um you know enlarged shall we say like it's drawn focus to it maybe when we're locked in maybe we had we went to a job and we had lots of friends there but then when we were locked in it kind of made us realize how we alone we are in our home life um so a lot of people needed that uplifting time and those uplifting messages and those jokes and to remember there is other people out there that's all i was trying to do i mean if you if you take offense to a joke it, it's like something that you've got to understand within yourself and heal within yourself. Um, I'm just trying to always look on the lighter or brighter side of life. Yeah, so when I was saying I posted a positive message and it was a meme that I probably found somewhere and yeah and somebody said you know well bob marl is um a woman beater well he also did a lot of other things as well didn't he um and i guess that was probably one thing that haunted him um and we don't know what an individual person is going through like we just seen with the black panther actor right we don't know that individual's path that's why we're not supposed to be judgmental to another because they can keep it inside um, a lot of the time um, and not want somebody else to know what they're going through so it might even come out like in that person seems angry all the time but it might be something internal that they're going through and I, I think like if we could just have that little bit of awareness that other people are going through things that maybe you don't see or understand or they haven't told you about just a little bit of kindness goes a long way and to look at the bigger pictures don't get lost in the trees look at the bigger picture that overall what I was trying to do is send something positive out there and I mean if even if we take Chris Brown and look at him like he records his music in 432 hertz to it's a healing uh, vibration Right. So he knows, OK, this reaches a lot of fans and this, you know, that vibration can really heal a lot of people without them even knowing. So, you know, there's a lot of things that are subliminal, right, that without us even knowing for the negative. So I think the fact that that's a positive, you know, I think we should look at that. As, you know just look at everything like I do I say to you guys all the time you might think I'm pro one thing or pro another when actually I'm quite neutral on a lot of things because I choose to be the page of swords and um, seek more and more information it's just like something that's built in me to be seeking more and more information all the time rather than just remaining like okay this is what I believe and staying stuck I continue to reach um, for more information about things so like you guys when you started your spiritual journey you might have started you know looking up tarot cards looking up your star sign looking deeper um, like the life path video I just did looking at your birth charts or you know your life path 
getting a greater understanding, just seeking that knowledge that's out there rather than getting stuck. This is my belief and that person's wrong. Maybe look into that person who you feel is wrong and look into them deeper. I don't know why the message has gone down here, but it has. Um, maybe somebody needed to hear it. It needed a reminder. Maybe it will settle a different time. Maybe nobody watches this video, right? Um, but it's just how it is. Everything happens for a reason. So I guess we went down this path for a reason. Um, maybe you're feeling judged or maybe you're judging somebody. It might be able to help you get that breakthrough you need in your um, spiritual journey. So, yeah. I like all kinds of music. I've actually been to many concerts. Um, I've seen Drake every time he's been in the UK. I was actually at the Drake concert where Rihanna was on the stage, like the stage was like that, and then she was dipped in and that lot. And just imagine, okay, this is something, right? We're talking about Chris Brown. Like, um, <clears throat> so... Just imagine somebody you're in love with. I'm not saying this gave any right. I'm just giving you a different perspective. Being broadcast all over the world, cheating with somebody. It's bad enough when it happens to you in private and it's cutting you deep. But then when it's broadcast all over the world and you feel like not only hurt, but humiliation and things like that. I remember I was sat there and I was, she was, I was like, I can smell weed. And she was sat in there smoking weed. Um, I've actually been to one of Rihanna's concerts as well with my sister in London. We went to the Wireless Festival in 2012. Drake was headlining, she was headlining. Nicki Minaj was there. There were so many people there because it was a festival. I, like, like I say, I love music. I've seen Mariah Carey, one of my favorite artists. Um, uh, yeah, I've seen Usher. I know he was spreading things around America, so people probably got something to say about him, but I'm not that kind of groupie. I'm the kind of groupie that's there for the music, not the other stuff. So, yeah. Um, I've seen I've seen JLS. don't know if you know who they are, but <laughs> took my daughter and, yeah, they was awesome. Um, yeah, I've seen like been to so many concerts. I love music so much. It sort of like resonates with my soul. If you've seen the Life Path video yesterday, I am Life Path 11. Um, probably not surprising to those of you who understand Life Paths that I'm 11. Um, but it says in order to seek solitude and refuge and peace of mind basically listen to music if you're life path 11 and that's me that's me i i love music if i'm not recording for you guys i am singing my little heart out where i can't even sing anyway so yeah anyway guys so yeah that was today's little video hope you enjoyed it good luck guys